Hello everyone, this is Kaok Gay and welcome to ADKC Home Improvement Show. Today, I'll be talking about Sika waterproofing product. This is Sika Code 300 Cool, a multi-purpose, elastic, acrylic based liquid applied membrane. For your information, Sika Code 300 Cool is formerly known as Sika Feel MY, an elastic covering of creamy consistency using styrene acrylic copolymers in watery emulsion which, once dry, forms a flexible, waterproofing and durable film. Among the many uses of Sika Code 300 Cool are waterproof of roofs on different types of substrates. For example, roof tiles, zinc and metal, brick, mortar and concrete. And the protections of partition walls against surface water filtrations. For example, vertical side walls, piping, bridging of cracks and joints and many others. So, what are the advantages? Environmental friendly, water-based, non-toxic, high elastic city, easy application, excellent hiding power, excellent UV stability, crack bridging ability, and good adhesion to most substrates. Now, let me summarize again Sika Code 300 code. Composition, watery emulsion using styrene acrylic copolymers. Packaging, 4 kg and also 20 kg pill. Color, white color, gray color, also available in other colors upon request. Shelf life, 12 months from the date of production. Are you ready to find out what is inside? Come closer. For mixing, mix Sika Code 300 Cool manually or with a low revolution mixer until it is completely homogeneous. For application, you may apply using a short hair wool roller, brush, or airless spray. Some of you may be curious, do I need to apply primer or undercoat? Yes, it is definitely recommended. And do you know that you can actually prime it by diluting Sika Coat 300 Cool? Let me show you. For priming, dilute Sika Coat 300 Cool with 10% of water. Stir gently until the mix is homogeneous and a uniform color is achieved. Using a short hair roller or brush, apply a layer of diluted Sika Coat 300 Cool onto the substrate, observing that it penetrates well in all the cracks. Leave the primer to dry for at least 3 hours. Apply successive layers of Sika Coat 300 Cool to the desired film thickness. Ensure the previous layer is completely dry before applying the next layer. Look at this. Can you spot the difference? This is after one layer of primer, and this is after one layer of primer with one layer of top coat. And this is after one layer of primer with two layers of top coat. Next, let's talk about system information based on system structure. For vertical wall, priming 0.3 kg per meter square. Top coat 0.3 kg per meter square per coat with a minimum of two coats. For roof and terrace, priming 0.5 kg per meter square. Top coat 0.75 kg per meter square per coat again with a minimum recommended of two coats. Please be reminded that the above consumptions are only estimates and does not include wastages. For porous substrates, the consumption may be even higher. Just to share with you, there are a few important considerations that you must take note when using Sika Coat 300 Cool or equivalent products. Number one, Sika Coat 300 Cool should not be used in places where it is in permanent contact with water. For example, water tanks, pools, or in areas where flooding or condensation may occur. So, don't even think about using it for your fish pond. Number two, do not place sharp objects on floor treated with Sika Coat 300 Cool. 
With this, can I presume that the food trafficable is just moderate? Number three, a minimum of two coats of undiluted Sika Coat 300 Cool must be applied. Personally, I would suggest between two to three layers. Thank you for watching my video and I hope that all of you have a better understanding on Sika Coat 300 Cool. In the upcoming video, I'm going to talk about Sika Coat 500 Super and what's the difference between these two. So I'll see you. Bye-bye.